China activist lawyer Xue Zhong on trial. Xue Zhong, a prominent human rights lawyer who campaigned against corruption, has gone on trial in China. Mr. Xue is charged with gathering crowds to disrupt public order. He is one of several activists from a transparency movement to be tried this week. Rights groups have criticized President Eleven Jinping who pledged to fight corruption over their trials. The trial of Xue Zhong, who was arrested in July 2013, began on Wednesday in Beijing. There was tight security outside the court, with police blocking journalists from approaching or filming outside. A BBC team reporting from a street near the court were forced to move after a group of men in plain clothes pushed the crew down the street. CNN reporter David McKenzie said on his Twitter feed that he had been manhandled, detained, and had equipment broken near the courthouse. Western diplomats said they were able to enter the building but were not allowed into the courtroom itself. Earlier, Mr. Zhang told reporters that a fair trial looked unlikely. He said that he had not been given the opportunity to defend Ms. Tikshoy in a fair court. Last week I applied for five witnesses to come and testify, but not only did the court reject my application, but also the police have been restricting these witnesses in the last two days, he said. In a press briefing on Tuesday, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Hong Lei described Ms. Tixua's case as a common criminal case, and that Ms. Tixua had been arrested in accordance with the law. Ipocritical crackdown. Ms. Tixua, who was also previously under house arrest, is a leading advocate of a group campaigning for government officials to reveal their wealth. Seven members of the informal grassroots group, New Citizens Movement, also face separate trials this week on similar charges. A known legal scholar, Ms. Tixia also campaigned on behalf of inmates on death row and families affected by tainted baby milk formula in 2009. In a video message from prison last year, he urged people to unite in pursuit of democratic freedoms. No matter how absurd society was, he said. This country needs brave citizens who can stand up and hold fast to their convictions. Ms. Tekshaw now faces up to five years in prison for disturbing public order, the BBC's senior Hatton in Beijing reports. Instead of President Eleven Jinping's promised clampdown on corruption, we are seeing a crackdown against those that want to expose it. Roseanne Reif, East Asia Research Director, said in a statement on Tuesday. Xue Zhong was a prisoner of conscience and he should be released immediately and unconditionally, Ms. Rife added. Anything less would make a mockery of the Chinese government's ongoing anti-corruption efforts.